drives you to live the way you live? Um, insanity? <laughs> or wait, no. Controlled insanity, yeah, that's it. to capture on this this journey that we're going to take with this show enlightenment awareness um righteousness you know uh understanding acceptance lessons learned you know that this is like i'm not the first one who's had uh tragedy you know send me on the road He, you know, my buddy, uh, my buddy Eddie, getting, uh, fucking smashed by a diesel truck on his bike, going to work. Kind of sent me over the edge. where he laid right there. If you turn to your right here, there's a dent in the fence. Right here to the right. There's a dent in the fence and that's where the bike ended up. But uh, you know it's a busy street and at 5.30 in the morning, you know what can I say? But I did wake up and you know at at 6.30 in the morning and said another fatality in Wilmington and I saw the truck halfway here with Eddie laying right in front of it. So he came to say goodbye. This is what good friends do. Take care of our homies even after they're gone. Everything, I, everything with Eddie was like I, you know, it wasn't just a favorite memory. Just him being here, man. He's just like, man, just a great guy. All the memories are good. Yeah. Missed the shit out of him. Think about him every day. Yeah, he was a great guy, man. Good person. You know. Um, yeah, I got a, a lot of. Well, one of one of the things I can tell you that was kind of trippy is when, when uh, he first started hanging around here for a minute asking me questions about buying a bike and um, basically he came here one day and I was working on a bike like this on the stand and he, he was talking at me and I was putting the top triple tree on like this uh -huh. and I swung a dead blow hammer and there was grease on the triple tree and it hit me straight in the mouth and knocked out my teeth and um, basically Eddie didn't even know I just walked over to the Pepsi machine spit out a bunch of blood and just continued working I didn't actually tell him until a couple of years later, and uh, he was tripped out on it, but 
That, that kind of was a joke between us, but the, every time I got the dead blow hammer out, he's like, man, watch out, man, we don't want to lose any teeth. <laughs> yeah, it was a trip, man. Yeah, it was, it was uh, yeah, yeah, Eddie was a guy, man. He was great, you know. I missed the shit out of him. Yeah. Good guy, good guy to know. Good friend. Good mechanic. Excellent mechanic with anything, and I mean anything. I mean just um, anything, cars, bikes, wiring, anything. Yeah, he was, he was great. Wow. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, unbelievable, as a matter of fact. Cut my fucking fingers off. We're kind of shovel head. Uh, I had it made, man. I was living on the hill and blah, blah, blah. But see, living on the hill doesn't always crack up the way it's supposed to be. You know, because especially on a hill, there's usually cracks in the fucking driveway. So I'm building this hot shot bike because I thought I was going to be the next Jesse James. Nice guy, by the way. <laughs> you know? Uh, Built a real nice bike. Uh, open primary. Reached down to grab the uh, kickstand, and I didn't have the bike set in my crotch the right way, and I didn't have a front brake on it because it had a girder front end. So I'm trying to hold the bike up, and the bike moved off a little crack in the driveway, a little step, and my hand went right to the front primary. Right to the primary. Right fucking through. Bam! <coughs> you know when you smash your finger in the door, you think, okay, this is bad, but it's gonna be dented, it's gonna be weird, it'll be all right? Yeah. It felt like that, and then you felt the pain go all the way up your arm like water. All the way up through the side of your face, and down your whole left side, down into your foot. And I felt something splashing on my face, because I didn't want to look at it yet, and I'm trying to hold the bike up. And it was blood. <laughs> you know, squirting like a like a fucking geyser. And it was like uh So I reached back down and felt lightning shoot up my arm and I didn't know why. And that's when I finally looked and my open bones had scraped the goddamn pavement. Oh because uh, I had no depth perception. These are tentacles. They're like whiskers, you know. When uh, we all have all of our body, when we're right next to something, you can feel it. Even if you can't see it, you can feel it's right there, you know. So, uh, I pulled it out, set the bike down. Um, Walked out into the street looking for my fingertips. Found them. Walked inside. Threw them in a bag. Threw ice in it. Then wrapped my hand up. Grabbed the bong. <laughs> took like five bong hits and was shuffling for any pills I could find, you know. And uh. So I had a bad injury, so I had to learn how to use my hand again. And I always wanted to play guitar, you know, I'd, I'd been uh, a successful drummer, you know, and uh, I always wanted to learn how to play guitar, man, because there was more that I wanted to say, more that I wanted to feel, you, you know what I mean? And uh, so I learned. I had to go like this. I had, I had to learn how to... That made you feel better to do that? No, it hurt. Man, I like to be the first to start trends, you know what I mean? Yeah, look at that. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, man. That's amazing. And then they got it all like... Look at this, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> ready to puke. Yeah. That was crazy, man. That was insane. I remember Eddie felt real guilty about that because he set up a bike deal and it's like it was my fault. 
you know, I wasn't fucking paying attention. And, uh, when you're not paying attention, your head ain't right. Bad shit will happen. Period. Introduce yourself. My name is Vijaya Devi Dasi. Govinda's birth was very, very special. At this time, I was practicing a form of yoga that's called bhakti. It had been eight years since I'd gotten pregnant. And there was no way that I would ever have another child. I never took precautions. It just wasn't going to happen. Because at that time, I was fully addicted to several, several demonized drugs. But while with the Hare Krishna devotees, it was a transformation that took place. And we did a special sort of ritualistic thing where I chanted 64 rounds and his father did two. So his conception came in a temple under the most purified space that you can possibly be in in this material world. So when he was named, I named him Govinda Das, and it simply means servant of God. He was a total miracle. 